Hey, I got a metal detector sent to me by Nalanda. They have an Amazon store with uh, different metal detectors and probes. And I wasn't expecting a lot. They wanted to know if I wanted to try it out. Uh, Price-wise, it's very, very reasonable. And this the specific detector I got, they got a couple different ones. Underwater one and a little bit higher end one. This one runs off from one 9 volt battery. I actually kind of like that on the metal detectors instead of fumbling through four AAs or eight AAs or whatever. But it does come with a set of headphones. Uh, nothing great, but they do work quite well. And this nifty shovel, which my boy has been playing nonstop with, but one you could, uh, where you get them little areas or say a little coin or something that's just below the surface this works incredibly well for that i couldn't believe that or of course you flip it over and you got a shovel or as my kid was saying like minecraft you got a pickaxe but anyways that does come with it that and the headphones is what you get and there's the box it's, it comes in i've tried this out quite a bit and i'm actually quite impressed with this thing build quality wise uh, you wouldn't expect a tremendous amount being, you know, uh, a well-priced detector. It's built good, solid. It's not a, uh, the coil itself, typical coil. It's an eight and a half inch waterproof coil. I don't see any flaws in it. Seems actually quite solid. Portability, very light. One, one nine volt battery, like I said. And as far as uh, features, we're going to get into that. I'm actually kind of impressed with it. Price-wise, I'm very impressed with it. One thing I did is I got, this will just be an air test right now, but different targets on there. And I, one thing I found with this one, is turning it on is quite simple. And here's the screen. I want to make sure I get a good shot of that. So bear with me here. Uh, you got your different modes. I'm in custom right now. And then you got memory, all metal, discrimination, custom, and memory. And I do believe it does auto ground balance. You don't have to worry about ground balance or nothing. I didn't see any backlight on it, but no big deal there. I'm going to go through these targets and just show you, if you were to watch the upper screen here, it is actually quite accurate. And I, that's one thing I was very surprised on. And depth is real good. So much so, sensitivity... I can crank it up, but I'm going to run it at 3 right now. And volume, it's all the way up. We'll put it on medium. Pinpoint, I'll show you that in a little bit, but watch this. Starting out with a bottle cap. It is ringing a little bit high, the bottle cap. But it is getting right up right up in there. That's one that's been in the soil for a long time and I hot glued it down so if you had a fresher bottle cap my guess it would ring lower. Here's a pull tab, an old school beaver tail. Right at pull tab. I'm going to turn the volume down because I know that gets real loud. Uh, the regular pull tab. It's like coming up a nickel, but bouncing back and forth. You got a 50. Uh, rusty nail. Doing pretty good. A quarter. Solid 88. That's what was surprising me. They don't even move off from that. You notice, the farther down, the farther up I go. I'm about 8 inches now. To get right down on top of it. It shows you right on it. That was a quarter. Here's a nickel. Right at nickel, solid 46. A dime. Same thing, good 81. Well, 82, 81. Now we got a copper penny, 81. And the dime's about an 81, 82. Copper penny, 81. Now a zinc penny. Look at that. You're going from 71 to 81 between 82 between zinc and copper. So that's pretty neat. Um, pinpoint. 
this is what I was uh, saying is just incredible on this. One is constant pinpoint. It isn't like static to where you go over it and it starts bringing it down. Watch. I think that it's just unreal. Unreal how well this thing pinpoints. That is just awesome. Yeah, actually, if you're going into all metal, looking for something, this would be the way to go. And we're gonna go up to a test bed. My, if you look on my channel, I have just numerous videos up testing metal detectors out. We're gonna run this in there a little bit, just to give you an idea. Now I got uh, there's three quarters here. This quarter here is at six inches, I believe. Pinpoint. Now we got another quarter here at eight. Actually, it's right there. See if I can hit it on. Even on, on the uh, setting three for power, it is hitting it. If I were to turn sensitivity up, all the way up, it hits that eight inch quarter, no problem. A 10 inch? doing the same thing only problem though with the 10 inch what I've seen or with it setting all the way up you get a lot of falsing so what I do is turn it down but you can see it even still there it's still hitting it 10 inch quarter now as far as separation this is a dime with four rusty nails around it Notice there, it's coming up. I wouldn't expect it to pull this out, but it does once in a while. That coin, it's real hard to get this out of there. A lot of detectors, you can't do it, but it's, like I said, once in a while it is hitting. That's weird, Just look at that. It's pulling that coin from that, so pretty neat not a bad detector uh, this would be a good say main one if you go out once in a while or whatever a uh, good backup little detector to throw in your car but like I said price wise I uh, really like the pinpoint on this thing one nine volt battery build quality not too shabby this thing's gonna find the coins and the processor on it from what I could see uh, does a real good job uh, recovery isn't bad depth is great uh, if you really want to crank it up, you can. And like I said, I've done air tests over 10 inches easy with it. But I run with the uh, modes down, or the power level down. Um, decent all-around detector. Actually, uh, pretty nice UI, easy user interface, portability, awesome. I don't think you guy could go wrong with this. So there you are, the Nolanda. Check that link out down below. Awesome. Oh, the only other thing, uh, plug-in is actually quite easy. It isn't too bad plugging it in and pulling it out. It does come apart. I mean, if you really wanted to break it down a lot, this pulls out good. Uh, this comes off from here, and the head will come off quite easily here. The back will come off, and you could really break this thing down, put it behind the seat of a truck or, or whatever. Like I said, portability is awesome. This would be good, good gift for a kid or something like that, or if you go out on a beach a lot, waterproof coil. Really like it. Like it quite a bit. There's the earphone plug right there. There we go. Till the next time.